Okay, so the this is a very similar slide to what Brian uh, presented, but the workflow execution service is, is complementary to the task execution service. The task execution service is for dispatching a single task that's gonna run on a single node to completion and then return results. But if you're actually doing a complex workflow that has many steps, you need to be able to submit it and sort of walk away. Uh, and if you are just run, you know, running the individual steps, there's, you may not, you may be able to want to be able to close your laptop or close your web browser and have it continue running. So the workflow execution service allows you to submit a high level description of a workflow using a portable language such as CWL or the workflow description language uh, along with a high level description of what the inputs are. So the input parameterization so unlike uh, the task execution API where you're actually submitting a command line, in this case you're submitting a more abstract description that's better aligned with what the user probably actually uh, wanted from a you know, user interface, whether it's a command line or a web application. Um, but the, the flow is very similar uh, from your command, a command line client or a web browser you're able to submit a new uh, workflow request that consists of the script and the description of the input parameters. Uh, there's then a backend implementation which could be <clears throat> based on Arvados, it could be based on Toil, Bunny, any of these CWL runners that will go off and do then a complex multi-step workflow. It's responsible for allocating all the resources. You, may in a single submission you could use you know thousands of cores uh, you're then able to monitor the status and then when you get a uh, response that it's that it's completed you get access to the files and the logs so yeah i think i covered most of this um, so yeah the the goal is really you know integration with web applications um, the integration across different uh, organizations. It's intended to sort of facilitate federation and you know, cooperation between organizations where you may have a complex analysis that you want to run uh, on a data set that's not, that you don't have direct access to. So you are able to submit, this, this will enable you to submit a complicated workflow that runs on uh, some, you know, another organization's site on the local data without having to get a copy of all that data to your own system. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to talk briefly about the current implementation. So there's uh, on GitHub, we have a, this, this is sort of proof of concept, but it's rapidly evolving. And this is the implementation of the workflow service and the workflow uh, client. And this, uh, you can set this up. This will run, uh, accept CWL workflows, and will submit them to Arvados, or it will submit them to anything that supports the uh, common workflow language command line interface. So that includes Toil, CWL tool, Bunny, anything that can pass a conformance test actually has to, is required to support that command line interface. So this uses that same uh, capability to actually provide an abstraction over these different runners. Uh, and similarly, it provides a client that is actually, uh, has a consistent command line interface with the CWL runner standard. So you can actually, as a, a almost a drop-in, replace a uh, command line invocation of to be, start your workflow with a submission of your workflow and um, not have to change the rest of your scripts. So, and, and with that, I think we're gonna go back to Brian. Thanks. Thanks.